Alicia, welcome to Auto Transport Intel. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thanks for carving out the time slot for us. We really appreciate it. And Howdy. also, thank you, Jay, for, you know, nobody really gives you a whole lot of credit, but you're really taking the time in, in normal conditions to spread awareness and, and help carriers and other, other folks out in the automotive industry. But especially right now, where we really have to all come together and share insights and support each other through this effort and providing this valuable information to our carrier base. Because at the end of the day, especially for us, I and mean, we don't have a business without the carriers out there continuing to run. And so being able to provide platforms like this to support them and provide them information to help them through is, is definitely essential. So thank you to you. And thanks to all the guys that are out there still kind of marching forward and facing the crisis firsthand. Car Hall is one, definitely one of the, the core pieces of, of what started the organization, but luckily we've powered with, you know, our drive away instance and our, our title and registration company, and they both have over 20 years experience in their specific lines. And so together, you know, we really, we really hope to support all sorts of different customers. I mean, we support OEMs, dealer groups. We have a huge presence on the fleet management side of the space. Um, rental, auction, and then obviously down to just individual customers that are buying vehicles online. So we support vehicle transport on the car haul side, which is one of our core service lines, drive away transportation solutions, title and registration. And then we, we have 55 storage locations across the country where we store vehicles, we service them, and then ultimately we can deliver that last mile piece out of our storage hubs from there as well. So we have somewhat of a, a pretty vast suite of services with the end goal being in mind that we can help support customers from vehicles coming off the manufacturing line all the way throughout the life cycle of the vehicle. We do have that in infrastructure in place to be able to deliver that showroom experience to the customer's driveway, right? And so, I mean, I think that's what's super exciting about this is customers are getting a clean car, they're getting it on their time, um, and they're getting it at their convenience, whether it be home, um, you know, the work office place, right? You're not having to take a PTO day to uh, go meet a truck driver at a Walmart, right? I mean, we all know and live those experiences. It's not fun always for the for the big rigs, right? And so it's, uh, right. it's, it's super exciting that we can offer this hub and spoke model to to the larger carrier networks, to the dealers and to the consumers. So it's, it's really a benefit for all. I'm super excited about that. Traditionally, dealers, if they weren't already a heavy e-commerce player, they primarily supported their local market. But the beauty of online retailing is their customer audience now is so much larger because they can sell customer, they can sell vehicles to customers across the country. But then they have the challenge of, well, how are we actually going to get the, the vehicle to them? You know, they may have used their porters locally, you know, that supported their store to deliver that or a local carrier in their market. Well, they may not have all of the connections to know what carriers can take the vehicle from Maryland to Washington, but that's where hopefully we can come into the play, into the picture and help them with our carrier network that uh, of our of our partner relationships that we have. But I think that it's really exciting that at the end of the day, most of the the vehicles that move cross country, I mean, we all know they get super dirty along the way, or they're traveling two thousand miles and leveraging our infrastructure, like Johnny mentioned, our hub and spoke model, we can route those vehicles through our storage locations, get them washed off. So that way they're as pristine as if they just rolled off the showroom floor from the dealership directly. And we can deliver that experience to the customer, whether that's with a local carrier that has, you know, one of our partnered relationships that we trust that can actually deliver sort of this really high end customer experience. Or we also are seeing a lot of interest from our customers that they're interested in the drive away delivery for that last mile piece, which does bring a little bit of relief on the carrier side because that's not the, the headaches of navigating neighborhood residential areas with the big trucks that travel cross country. So we're seeing a, a, an interesting kind of approach where um, some players out in the space have kind of blazed a trail of what this perfect picture of what last mile really looks like. And, I don't really think you have to have the branded truck rolling up in front of customers. As long as you have the customer service element and a good experience, you show up on time when you've committed to, to the delivery. And, and overall, the, the relationship and interaction from the carrier or the delivery driver is great. Customers got to be happy. They just got their new car. So they should be happy if you execute on all those other fronts. So we're excited about being able to support that opportunity and 
and really give dealers this opportunity to support a, a much broader customer base.